Thank you very much, Mr. Chairman. I want to <clears throat> focus on the algorithms. Um, Section 230 protections were initially conceived to protect neutral platforms that passively host information from third parties. While this approach allowed the Internet ecosystem to flourish, I believe the central tenet is flawed. Modern platforms consciously promote some speech over others through sophisticated algorithms and data collection practices. Professor Overton, can you describe how algorithms and data collection practices materially contribute to discrimination online? Yes, thank you so much, uh, Ranking Member. Um, <clears throat> essentially, platforms like a Facebook or a Twitter make money off of ad revenue and views and, and this type of thing. And so what they do is they try to use these algorithms to deliver uh, content, ads, et cetera, to make money and to profit. Facebook, what they've done is a, a couple of things. One, they've had drop downs that basically allow people to target particular racial groups in the past or ethnic affinity uh, drop downs. And as a result, advertisers have been able to, for example, target employment or housing ads away from African American communities or Latino communities. Okay. But so then also the algorithms, as you've talked about, are, are also problematic. The advertiser may not even know, and then the algorithms steer the ads away from black okay. and Latino so people. So, could I ask this? Yep. Uh, do you believe the use of algorithms to target the distribution of certain content should alter our understanding of the 230 framework? I, I do think, yes, absolutely. Okay. Now, um, in Gonzalez versus Google, right. a court found that Google did not act as an information content provider mm -hmm. when using algorithms to recommend terrorist right. content because Google used a neutral algorithm right. that did not treat ISIS-created content differently than any other third-party created content, and Google provided a neutral platform that did not encourage the posting of unlawful material. So, Professor, I often see the phrase neutral mm -hmm. used to describe social media algorithms. However, I have concerns that phrase glosses over the inherent biases and certainty algorithms, yep. construction and effect. Do you believe algorithms can ever be truly neutral? And if not, how should that fact inform our understanding of yep. Section 230? Yeah, I think it's wrong to have a broad neutral uh, rule here that all algorithms are neutral and mechanical. Certainly they have harms in terms of particular communities. Okay. Um, <clears throat> social media and online platforms have shown consistent success in preventing many forms of objectionable content like obscenity and nudity. They've also moved quickly in some cases to identify and label misinformation around COVID-19 and vaccines. However, this same efficiency does not extend to racial equity and voting rights. Professor Overton, why do you believe online platforms haven't had commensurate success in preventing harms to racial equity and voting rights? Yeah, I, I think that there's some steps that have been made by some companies, but it's not enough. And part of it is that Profit is a big motive in terms of companies, so that's what they're focused on in terms of the advertising dollars or whatever is going to drive the bottom line. Okay. Um, well, Section 230 establishes broad protections for online platforms. It doesn't extend to an information content provider, which Section 230 defines as any person responsible in whole or in part for the creation or development of information. Courts have generally understood development in this context to mean making information usable, available, or visible. Mm -hmm. Professor Overton, how has our understanding of this phrase changed as technology has evolved, and where does it fit in the broader Section 230 discussion? Certainly. Roommates, a case um, on the Ninth Circuit, you know, introduce the fact that there may be some material contributions where platforms don't enjoy uh, the protection. And the problem is that it has not been clear. The difficulty about broad rules in this space is on one hand, algorithms are troubling and can be discriminatory. On the other hand, they can be used for content moderation and cleaning up the internet. So we want to be careful in terms of flat, broad, straight rules here and be just very thoughtful about this space. Okay, well thank you very much. I realize we have a lot